2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Soaring high above the Willamette. We are... Kevin, thanks very much. Portland is indeed one of the great cities in the NBA. David, thank you. And they'll have some minutes to make up for it with an injury go. in their roster. Missing a valued contributor. That can be a challenge. We'll see how they answer the bell. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Lopez in its center locking down the middle. And for Portland, pairing up in the backcourt, Lillard and McCullough. Robert Covington out there with Nurkic. And it's Powell in at the three. A three-pointer, no good. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for Milwaukee. And Lillard is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Uh, kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. And the dunk by Lopez. Yes. Great floor when it says that Tentacubo has a sense for when the D has overcommitted or shifted his way, and then he finds where his teammate is open on the floor. Now here's Lillard. It's Powell on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Nurkic controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Yeah, when Nurkic goes across the lane there, hard to get him out of the way, and he collects the offensive rebound. Holiday, the pass to on the Kumbo. Out of bounds, Portland takes possession. The Trailblazers have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Pass to Powell. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Middleton with it. Now defended by McCullough. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. Trailblazers have gone two for four from the field so far today. Here's Lillard. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCollum. Well, if you go to Lehigh, of course, you're going to make smart plays. McCollum good at sensing when his man was going to be wide open. And one thing that I don't think Dane Willard gets enough recognition for, he's an absolutely fantastic leader for this team. The exact kind of captain you would want. Dame Lillard doesn't do anything with regards to making excuses for some of the reasons why the team may come up short. All he's concerned with is how can we get better? That's the kind of leader you can get behind. Let's it go with a three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Holiday's got five now. And that's a beautiful shot there for Drew. Defenses have to account for Drew Holiday out there behind the arc. Powell dishes to Lillard. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And so onto Dekumbo will bring it up for the Bucks. Middleton on the wing, guarded by Powell. On the wing, Holiday. Back to Middleton from outside the arc. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Norkic has got four rebounds now tonight. Three-pointer Lillard, and he's good on the three ball. Lillard's got his second bucket of the night. Aggressive and incredibly quick end-to-end. -end. Lillard is always a threat on the fast break. Out to Takumbo, finds Holiday. We've got 128 left in the first. Lopez with the ball. Now Covington defended. And Robert Covington picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Cantor is checked in for Nurkic. Anthony comes in for Robert Covington. Derek Jones, he's checked in for Norman Powell. And it's Simons in for Damian Lillard. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. 
Portis. He's checked in for Lopez. P.J. Tucker comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Pat Connaughton. He's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Drew Holiday. Now C.J. saying, not so fast. I'm not letting you get away from us tonight. There's the return payback three. Middleton, the pass to Forbes. He's looking for Middleton and finds him. To the paint. Here's Connaughton. Portland grabs the miss. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot, and for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. Portland leading. We've got 33 seconds left in the first quarter. McCollum outside from deep three-point range. A shot, no good. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. And that one's good from Connaughton. Changing in quickly, he's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down, but when he gets room like that, you got to look out. And it's McCollum in the corner. Gets it to go from beyond the up. McCollum's got six. Just so good off the pass. McCollum's set up and ready at all times. Good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. It's the. And before the game, we talked to Damian Lillard. You know, Greg, he is stiff. I don't fear nobody. Yeah. And if Lillard's proved anything to us, Greg, in his career, you know he loves a challenge. <laughs> One of the premier big shot makers in this game. I don't know if there's anyone you'd rather give the ball to in crunch time. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. What stands out to you guys from the Trailblazers so far in this one? Yeah, in that first period, they looked to push in transition at every opportunity. It yeah, felt like they knew that there were openings in transition and just wanted to keep trying to feed that, get out quick. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got, we've got Bobby Portis. E.J. Tucker is out there with Teague, and it's Nora in at the small forward. Boy, your alma mater, UNLV, Greg, has produced some great NBA players over the years. I mean, so many great names. No, no doubt about it. Listen, I, I got a special place in my heart for my former teammates, Larry Johnson and Stacey Ogman. Right. Uh, but also guys like Sean Marion. You go back to, to Reggie Diaz, who was a tremendous player. Uh, and right now in the league, you, you got Tim Birch, dunk champ Derrick Jones, and an up-and-comer in, in Christian Wood. Good mention. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Anthony. A different look now for Portland. Norman Bowles checked in for C.J. McCollum. And Lillard subbed in for Anthony Simon. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Milwaukee. And Teague, here we go. Some solid defense from Lillard. Portland leading by five. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Cantor trying to free himself up. Powell, that's good. Mello good at scanning the entire floor, and that's why that time he found the open teammate. Outside T. Outside Portis. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Teague's got his first bucket in this one. Well, at 6'2 and 182, Jeff Teague really had to use all the strength in his body to get that shot off despite getting hit. Now here's Lillard. He's got five. Now here's Paul. Bobs it up for Cantor. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Howell's got the lead up to seven now for Portland. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Portis. Six on the shot clock. Teague drives in. Nice shot by Portis. Portis has got four points this quarter. Well, if you're giving up that much height, the only thing that you can do as a defender is to foul him. Now about three minutes gone in this second quarter of basketball. And Lillard kicks to Powell. 
Back to Lillard. From 13. And the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Here's T. There's the pass to Portis. Hucks passing it around. Teague, the pass to Portis. Over Kansas. Teague against Willard. Teague can't hit. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. And that one's good, Anthony. Anthony's got his first bucket of the night. Carmelo really has great footwork down low, showing off the feel right there when he gets near the feet. Teague against Willard. Now here's Teague. He's guarded closely, off target at the rim. He's been off the mark, and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. Yeah, but I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. One. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Now here's Teague to the middle. Here's Portis. And that comes off the assist by Jeff Teague. Teague's got three assists now in this one. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. And so they foul intentionally. There's really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Here's what Portland's going with right now. Yusuf Nurkic, he's checked in for Ennis Cantor. Robert Covington comes in for Anthony. AJ McCollum, he's checked in for Derek Jones. And it's Simons in for Damian Lillard. Bucks trail by 11. And here's Giannis. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. McCollum outside. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. And so it's Portland looking at a 13th. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie G. The first quarter for the Trailblazers was fairly even. The period came to a close with them holding. And... and there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. C.J. McCollum really making a difference here. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. The high-powered backcourt pair, Lillard and McCollum. Nurkic is out there with Robert Covington, and it's Powell in at the small forward position. So that's who Terry Stotts starts the second half with. Lillard way outside. And the Trailblazers, another three. And we know it. We've seen it. Lillard's range extends well beyond the three-point line. Hard to keep a hand in his face from that far out. Now here is Holiday. He has five. Outside, out of the combo. And stolen by Lillard. He kicks to McCollum. No good from outside. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. They trail by 16. Holiday did a great job there, realizing they had an opportunity in transition, taking advantage of the numbers. Those are the kind of situations where they thrive. Now here's Paul. Eight points for him. McCollum outside. And it goes down two points. McCollum's got 10 points in the game. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Outside Holiday. Back to Anadokounmpo. Nurkic with the block. And Nurkic seeing an opportunity there to make the impact defensively with the block. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. 
Ray, can you really compare players from completely different eras? I mean, people love to talk about the greatest of all time. You know, Kev, some players do transcend eras. There's no doubt about that. Wilt's a great example. And there are many others, but but in reality, to your point, the style and the way in which the game was played was so different uh, that it isn't fair. I mean, all you can be is the best of your generation or one of the best, and I, I think that should stand no matter what the conversation is. Like, there's no doubt in your mind Oscar Robertson could play in this era as well as he played when he played. No doubt. Bill Russell, all those guys. Yes, the truly yes. great ones. So much of your ability to perform at a high level is built around your confidence and your belief in your abilities. And those guys had it as much as anybody who's ever played the game. Portland, no good that time either. Bucks trail by 16. Middleton fine. Touches Akumbo. Lopez inside. Working on Norkic. The kick out to Adetokounmpo. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. Well, not making things easier on themselves right now, that's for sure. Here's what Portland's going with right now. Ennis Ken has checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Derek Jones comes in for Robert Covington. And it's Simons in for Lillard. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Yeah, a nice, strong finish on the inside. But, Greg, that's what he does. He's got the dunker mentality. McCollum with the ball. He's got 10. Jones kicks to McCollum. Pass to Simons. Lock at six. Can't hit that one. Excellent D there from Holiday. Bucks trail by 16. Forbes the pass to Giannis. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. And now, yep, this will be a coach's challenge. We thought that might happen. Triggering a review of the personal foul. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, Personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology, Greg. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able now. The challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined, Greg, to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. Here's Holiday following the basket by C.J. McCollum. Now here is Holiday. Tight defense on him. Good. Holiday's got nine points. Well, you're kind of asking for it. Drew Holiday gets in that close. He's probably scoring. 41 seconds left to play in the third. Here's McCollum. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. McCollum's got six in the quarter. Bucks trail by 16. Now Holiday. He's got nine. Mass to Connaughton. Let's it go from deep. But they'll get another chance. Out left to the wing. Here is Forbes. He is guarded by McCollum. Just four to shoot. The shot by Holiday, no good. Now that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. And so it's Portland with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. There. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. You know, anytime a guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, great player movement can create an opportunity just like that. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. On the floor for Milwaukee, starting the fourth quarter. We've got Holiday. 
E.J. Tucker is out there with Chris Middleton. Then there's Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Lopez in at the five down low. Here's Lillard. After Drew Holiday's score. Lillard attacking. And then Lillard slams it in. And there's the problem. Lillard just too quick and too shifty to stop cold on any dribble drive. Bucks trail by 16. Holiday dishes to Lopez. Now here's Middleton. Jacks up a three. Drills it from outside. And that kind of consistency from Middleton from three, that's huge. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Here's Simon. Lopez with the steal. Alert against DiVincenzo. A three ball. Milwaukee the rebound. Back to Lopez. Shot clock at six. Here's Middleton. Misses off the right iron. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Pass to Powell. From deep. The shot misses. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Holiday, the pass to Middleton. Back to Holiday. Trying to get open is Lopez. That one's in there, and the Portland lead is cut to just 11 points in the basket from Holiday. Now he's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's been on his game. It's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. Lillard way outside. Portland no good that time either. Milwaukee has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Holiday against Lillard. Here's DiVincenzo. And he slams it one-handed. And won't find many more games as entertaining as this one. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Now here's Lillard. And now we've got the intentional foul. A different look now for Portland. Cantor comes in for Yusuf Nurkic. And McCollum subbed in for Anferni Simon. Anas Antetokounmpo is checked in for the Bucks. T comes in for Drew Holland. Big time drive from Lillard and the contact. He has the mindset just to slough it off. 143 left in the fourth quarter. And stolen by Lillard. Real good, Damian Lillard. Well, you got quicks, you got instincts, and you got aggression. Damian Lillard capable of taking over just about any time he wants. Outside Teague. Middleton outside. The offensive rebound. Lopez gets to Middleton. And it's off from three-point range. Trailblazers leading by 13. Cohen outside. He dishes it to Powell. Cantor, the pass to McCullum. From deep three-point range. Portland again missing. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-up. So maybe just a step too far. The Blazers on offense. They led by as many as 18 points. And a deep three from Lillard. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for the Bucks. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Back to Giannis. The kick out to T. No good on the three. And it's Brooke Lopez with the foul. 
That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. And he makes the first. Two shots. And both free throws good for Covington. And here's Giannis. And the basket is good. As Giannis has grown in his physical stature, widening those shoulders, having more strength, these are the kind of plays that make all that hard work pay off. From deep, an absolute palm from three-point range. I mean, he hit that shot from the next town over. Kev, what, what a shot. From deep three-point range, missed. And so Portland takes this one up by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting.
We are live. It's a Thursday night first. The agent. Hey, Kevin. Whoop. It does indeed. Thanks, David. So the next starting five. We've got DeAndre Jordan. Harris is out there with Durant. And it's Kyrie Irving. And it's Harden. And at the point guard position. And for the Trailblazers. Pairing up in the backcourt, Lillard and McCullough. Robert Covington out there with Norman Powell. And it's Nurkic in at the five down low. Now here's Lillard. McCollum outside. Back to Lillard. Off target from outside. In transition, here come the Nets. Irving's got the ball. From 13, up again. How many times have we seen DeAndre Jordan take it off the window and convert? Boy, he is so good. Lillard, the best to Nurkic. Terrific, talented backcourts tonight. Greg, did it ever add anything for you playing across another top-level guard? Listen, it raises the stakes, no doubt about it. You always want the opportunity to play against the best because you want to see where you stand. But in the end, even when you know a guy's better than you, and you're going to have that be the case a lot of nights, you still know that you will have an ability to impact the outcome when it comes to winning. And, and that's where you have to keep your focus. Now, here's Covington following the shot by Kevin Durant. Nobody near Newarkish. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. That's the third straight miss to start this game, and they're still looking for their first basket. The Nets have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Irving passes to Jordan. Harden outside. Jordan trying to free himself up. What a pretty look. DeAndre Jordan, to have that kind of touch on your passing, such a quality piece for a big man. McCollum outside. Three-pointer. Jordan with the rebound. Well, conversions have been a problem. 0 for 4. And an intentional foul right there. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Pass to Harris. Kicks it to Hart. Buries it from about 10 feet away. And I love seeing Harden get room to shoot from that mid-range position. An effective score in that area. McCollum outside. From deep. Offensive rebound. It's Powell on the wing. Off target from three-point range. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. And Lillard is going to pick up a foul. That is his first foul of the game. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Ennis Kanner's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Anthony comes in for Robert Covington. Derek Jones, he's checked in for McCollum. And it's Simons in for Lillard. And a switch here for Brooklyn. Jeff Green is checked in for Kevin Durant. Harden gets the bucket. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. A nice shot by Simon. And that ends the struggle. You can feel the tensions in the building with each miss. And you've got to be able to show some resiliency, right? Keep pounding away, and it finally falls for you. Here's Irving after the Trailblazers pick up two. Shot from 12. Another one falls for Brooklyn. You have to respect the in-between game of Kyrie Irving. Straight up. Yeah, that's how you have to play this guy. You've got to play him straight up and be balanced. Here's Simons. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on James Harden. That is his first foul of the game. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Brown comes in for James Harden. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Jones against Harris. Uses the glass to finish the win. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. Irving against Powell. And it's Norman Powell with the foul. That's his first foul. Irving surveying the floor. 
Jones over Powell. And despite that miss, a strong start for them offensively. Irving can't get it to go. It's stolen by Green. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Brown wide open. He fires. Gets a very good look and converts. What a find by Griffin. He's a lot more skilled as a passer than he gets credit for as far as power forwards go. He has terrific vision. Here's Irving. Up and in on the layup. Irving's got his second basket of the game. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. And, Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. Here's Simons, covered by Irving. Jones, the pass to Simons. Cantor inside. Harris is there. Well, this is Ennis Cantor's comfort zone. At the rack in a hurry. Brooklyn shooting their first free throws here for the night. And the first one drops. Both teams will make substitutions. And he makes both free throws. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. One second left. And so it's Brooklyn. Up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. They've had such great ball. Naturally a ball dominant player. James Harden talked to us. Yeah, that's the goal. That's the goal, of course. I'll... Giving their offense another dynamic. And it also helps him preserve some energy for those big moments in the big game. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And the Nets pretty much in control here, it would seem. You got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. The high-powered backcourt pair, Lillard and McCollum. Anthony out there with Ennis Cantor, and it's Jones in at the small forward. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. And they pick up two. Irving's got the lead up to 12 now for Brooklyn. Boy, it's rare for a point guard to do as much damage on the interior as Kyrie Irving. You've got to guard him in there. Lillard outside. And Lillard throws it down. And I gotta say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm, but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. Left side, Brown. KD finds Griffin, and Griffin slams it in. Boy, what wonderful vision. Kevin Durant with a picture-perfect pass. Woo-hoo! Lillard looking around. And Damian Lillard pulls it down home. Oh, that's an old-fashioned rim wrap. Just a remarkable gem. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. Alert against Irving. Griffin kicks to KD. Six to shoot. That will not get it done. He's 0 for 2. And oh, here we go. McCollum's got it. The fast break chance. And it's Anthony with the jam. Oh, the pass was perfect. And Carmelo just finishes with style. That's leading by eight. Now, here is Irving. He's got eight. A new generation of players, Greg, coming into the NBA alongside your son, Cole. Uh, we've got a lot of players who I think are going to have a long... And here we go. Coach's challenge happening right now. This one in regards to the personal foul. Seeing if that was the right call. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replay, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving. 
and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined, Greg, to overrule the original call. And, guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. Harden draws the double. Here's Jordan. They kick it out to Green. Inside. Here's Harden. And he banks in the layup. Harden's got eight points. Yeah, I love watching Harden be aggressive inside. One of the most efficient scorers in our game. 11 feet away. They get it back. It's good on the putback. Uh, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. Powell with the steal. And he makes good on the layup. Powell's got it back down to single digits for Portland. Well, this guy very capable of capitalizing close to the rim. Norman Powell making an impact inside. Harden outside. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. His shooting has been outstanding. You're definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. McCollum outside. On deep. Portland with a new 14. Pass to Simon. Second shot opportunity. And contact on the shot. So he'll be shooting free throws here. And McCollum on the floor. All business off the court. He's a very outspoken player. Very colorful guy. And Greg, you were saying you see a future in media form when he, when he stops playing. No doubt about it, Kevin. I mean, McCollum spoke up quickly about the seriousness of the virus when they were playing. He's very knowledgeable and shares what's on his mind. A media position after he's done playing is a very real possibility if he chooses to. The drive by Jordan. Rebound by the Trailblazers. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take it back. Keeps it alive. There's Nurkic putting it right back in. Nurkic has got his first two points of the night. And just a massive player. Nurkic's combination of size and strength helps him on that offensive glass. And here's Harden. Ten points for him. And the jam by Harden. And I just love how aggressive Harden is inside. When he's deep like that, he is ready to finish with authority. And McCollum puts up a deep three. Trains the three-pointer. McCollum's got five points in the quarter. Such a multi-talented threat on the... Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but be right back out here for the start of the third. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to... James Harden led the way in the first half. He had 12 points, two rebounds, and... And that... And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. A fantastic game from Harden in this one. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. And Brooklyn looking who they've got. Duran is out there with Joe Harris. Then there's DeAndre Jordan. Then it's Harden, and it's Irving at the two. For Brooklyn, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And as a group, they shot 75% from the line last season. And McCollum launches it from deep, and it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. McCollum's got eight. Colton with and without the ball. McCollum is a tremendous spot-up shooter. And stolen by Lillard. And now Lillard pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And the rejection by Harden. Irving finds KD. Shoots over Powell. And that one hits back iron. 
The defense not a factor there. Very surprising he couldn't capitalize. Stolen by Harden. Katie against Powell. Jordan buries it down low. He has seven. Well, you're allowing DeAndre Jordan to get comfortable. This guy is so efficient as a scorer. Here's Lillard. He's got six and a wide open look for McCollum. Offensive rebound. Here's Norkic. Yep, it counts. Norkic has got his second basket of the night. And such a polished player near the basket. Nurkic feels comfortable taking those in close shots. Kicks it out to McCollum. And the pass to Lillard. McCollum outside. Takes a three. Buries the long-range jumper. McCollum's got six points in the quarter. Wow, you don't see him left alone very often. And, of course, he makes good use of it. Lillard against Harden. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Boy, that's three for four this half. You like that they're starting with a little bit of extra energy. Nice. For the Trailblazers, Cantor is checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Anthony comes in for Robert Covington. And Jones subbed in for Powell. And then for Brooklyn, Griffin's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Nicholas Claxton comes in for Kevin Durant. And it's Bruce Brown in for Joe Harris. He dialed that one up from long distance. Lillard's got nine points. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. That's out of bounds to Portland. No retain possession. Active hands from him as he's able to deflect that pass out of bounds. Well, that's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. The Trailblazers is making a switch here. Simmons has checked in. Hey, Greg, if you could coach one team right now, who would it be? That's a, that's a tough one. Clippers, Lakers, oof, Bucks. You know what? I would probably go Lakers or Bucks because you would have an opportunity to coach someone who arguably might be considered the best to ever play the game. Because I think Giannis is trending in that direction, and LeBron obviously already is. How about a guy like uh, Kemba Walker and coaching the Celtics, having him to do what you want to do on the floor? Oh, he'd be brilliant. And, and yeah. Kemba, one of the most underrated leaders in our game. Great, great human being. So for the Nets, Luwawu is checked in for Nicholas Claxton. And it's Tyler Johnson in for Kyrie Irving. And Griffin slams it in. Well, terrific job by Tyler Johnson to do exactly what they want him to do. Find his open teammates. Here's Willard. Good for another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for ten shooting. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Johnson outside. Here's Griffin. Damian Lillard grabs the loose ball. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Lots of room. Again, the Trailblazers good for two. Boy, you can see their confidence growing. They have reason to believe. What I love is the heart, the fire, the tenacity. This is absolutely fantastic. Luwawu, the pass to Griffin. Johnson outside. Five on the clock. Back to Griffin. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. Griffin's got four this quarter. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Passes it to Simons. Count that one. Simons has got eight points. The Nets have gone six of eight on field goal attempts in the third. A 75% clip. Griffin dishes to Johnson. 26 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Portland's gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. Jones kicks to Lillard. And the layup's good off the glass. Lillard's got the lead up to two now for Portland. 
No excuse giving Lillard that kind of positioning. That, that's just too easy. Griffin inside. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for the Portland Trailblazers. He finishes with nine points. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this was? How about the secondary playmaking you are getting? Great to have that from the shooting guard spot. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. We've got Robert Covington. Powell is out there with McCollum. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic. And it's Anthony in at the three. That's the group on the floor for Portland. In the corner, Harden. Stolen by McCollum. Bobs it up for Anthony. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist from KD. Kevin Durant. Durant's got three assists now in this one. Now Powell. McCollum outside. Here's the three. The rebound by Jeff Green. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Lillard's checked in for Carmelo Anthony. And a switch here for Brooklyn. Irving's checked in. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. Harden the pass to Harris. This is to Irving. Back to Harris. Pass to Jordan. Five to shoot. The Nets working the ball around now. Here's Irving. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. And the Nets lead by four. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Home outside. He kicks it to Nurkic. McCollum. Nurkic dishes to McCollum. Portland again missing. Sometimes you just have an off day, and this is one of those games for him. Guys, this offense very effective. And guys, the defense has been no match. They've just picked them apart. Harden draws the double, and the jam by Harden. And it is easy to get spoiled watching Harden. He's had so many games like this in his career, but you still got to appreciate what he does. Oh! oh. oh. And guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatic. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, <laughs> didn't he? My goodness. Here's KD. And again, it's Brooklyn converting. Well, Kevin Durant's looking at the defender like, hey, if you're going to give me that, I'm going to take it. Trailblazers trail by six. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Harden with it. Now guarded by Nurkic. Harden outside. Pass to Harris. Powell with the steal. And now Portland on the break. A three from McCollum. And it's sent back by KD. And KD throws it down. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm and you can see how they're finishing their play well what great game planning what great execution it doesn't get much better than this and for a point guard Lillard has some hops outstanding at knowing when to use them for the dunk Irving against Covington Irving kicks to Harden back to Irving six on the shot clock the Nets need to get a shot off here. It's Powell on the wing. Harden against Lillard. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Truth positive that Lillard is worthy. That's talent you can build a franchise around. Cantry checked in for Port. He throw good, Damian Lillard. You must embrace the pressure and knock down critical free throws. Nicely done. Harden against Lillard. 
Harden's shot is good. Harden's got 21. And this is what great players do. Harden understanding how to deliver in a big moment. Cantor trying to free himself up. And Damian Miller with the jam. This is what he's known for. When it's an important possession, Lillard knows how to come through. On the wing, Harris launches a three. No good. Shot missing. Now the Trailblazers take it the other way. A three from McCollum. They grab their own miss. Robert Covington, calm, cool, and collected. 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. Irving, got it. So much riding on that shot. What a bucket. I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. Three-pointer, Lillard. It's in! A tremendous three to tie it up. Such a clutch shooter. This guy lives for these kinds of moments and delivers. Harden against Willard. Harden draws the double. There's 10 seconds left in the game. Money! I mean, if the defender is going to play off like that, you know what's going to happen. There are going to be points put on the board. Here's Willard. Yes! And wow, what a time to tie this game up, guys. Incredible fortitude to bounce back like this. I think we're setting up for an awesome finish. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. And now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, James Harden. Yeah, this percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. Now for a big man, DeAndre Jordan has such soft touch on his passes. So it's Brooklyn who scrapes by with the win. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks.
a bustling city of Portland. Looking now at the lineup for both teams tonight, some names out of action. And with both teams at less than full strength, we'll have to see which side is able to remain more effective. And the Clippers starting five. Paul George is out there with Reggie Jackson. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Ivica Zubac. And it's Morris in at the four slot. And for the Trailblazers, the high-powered backcourt pair, Willard and McCollum. Robert Covington out there with Nurkic. And it's Powell in at the three slot. Love the patience from Covington. Let's the situation develop and then delivers a perfect strike. Jackson looking around, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop. Right wing. Nurkic kicks to Covington. Back to Nurkic, and that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Zuba. Great energy on the deflection, and a good job disrupting their offense. This is called an effort play. Terrific hustle at the defensive end. No, that's good. We have an awesome backcourt battle tonight, Steve. Let me ask, are we in a guard-centric league right now? We are, Kevin. I mean, we've always had great guards, and they lead you through championships with their leadership and their play along with the big guy. But what's happening right now, Kevin, the big man is playing like a guard. The skill level of these seven-footers to be able to shoot threes, dribble, pass. So it does seem like a guard-centric league right now because everybody can play that position. So smart with the ball in his hands. George reads the floor well and takes advantage of what's there. He takes advantage of them in every way possible. And Greg, he lures them into a trap on the steal and then bang, straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball. The Clippers get in the bucket. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Now, here's George. And then George with the jam! Insane move by Paul George, a high flyer who can create in midair. In OKC, Paul George shows he can be an MVP caliber performer. With Kawhi on the Clippers, he could be that 1B or that 1A. Lillard attacking outside Covington. Shot clock at six. Colin passes to Nurkic. Portland, no good that time either. The Clippers have gone three or five, shooting the ball so far. It's good. And PG, you know, he has the versatility to succeed in different roles. Doesn't have to dominate the ball. Yes, and if anything, he's more comfortable scoring within the flow of the offense. With his all-around impact, doesn't need to force things to make winning plays. But if you need him to, he can. And so George will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Outside Leonard. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Well, Paul knows the defense is locked in on him, so he takes advantage and finds the open man. Trailblazers trail by three. Lillard outside. Fires from deep. And the Trailblazers, another three. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. The reason why, it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now here's Leonard. Banked in off the glass. Leonard's got six points. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. It's Powell on the wing. Takes the three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Leonard with the bucket. Uh-oh, starting out in rhythm. That's four out of five he's hit. And we're only in quarter number one. For Portland, they've gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. To the paint, it's stolen by Morris. Now the Clippers moving it up. Leonard with the ball. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. How about five of six to start? Looks like he brought his A game. 
McCollum outside. Covington against Morris. Now here's Covington. Not a lot of room. Just five to shoot. Sinks that one from the post. All out effort all the time. Covington was undrafted and he's worked his way into NBA minutes. Three second difference between shot clock and game. Jackson against Lillard. Let's go. And it's George missing. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. And it's good, but hold on. The officials may want to look at that one on the replay mod. And indeed, they're going to look at it again. They need to be certain he beat the buzzer. And, and to me, guys, it, it looks pretty clear-cut on the instant replay. I mean, the ball was out of his hands in time. I think they'll confirm this one pretty quickly. Kawhi Leonard has been on display for the L.A. Damian Lillard told us before the game, when asked how he stays so... I won't be games. You know, I'm from... Well, some of the best stories in our league are about guys who struggle to get to where they are today. And I really hope the young guys out there are listening to this. You don't have to be a five-star prospect to achieve your dreams. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. Guys, what's your take on the Clippers so far? Way to set the table. Offensively, they dominated on the interior. They came in looking to attack from the get-go, willing to be physical and setting the tone. Jones is out there with Anthony. Then there's McCollum. Then it's Ennis Kent. And it's Simons in at the point guard position. They're the group the Portland Trailblazers will start the second quarter with. The Clippers need to get off a shot. Here's Oturu. And Jones pulls it down. Portland trailing here. Here's McCollum. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. One-on-one -on -one here. He can't get it to go. Now Portland takes it the other way. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Can't get it to fall. The Clippers shoot has been just outrageous. 64% from the field at this point. Natural born finisher DeMarcus Cousins bringing the hammer. Here's McCollum to the inside. A three. Portland no good that time either. Los Angeles leading by three. No good from Cousins. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. And the call will be against Luke Kennard. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Jones. There's the dish to McCollum. Passes it to Cannon. Out to Anthony. This one for three. That shot missing. And the Clippers will come the other way. Beverly, the pass to Rondo. Clippers moving the ball around. Back to Cousins. And he elevates him in the slam. Cantor did not like that. A better athlete than some people give him credit. DeMarcus entertaining the crowd. Promising start for Luke Kennard. End up missing extended minutes with injuries. Hopefully, he can stay healthy this go around. Here's McCollum. He is hauled in by Beverly. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And Kennard's moving into the starting lineup for the first time last season. And to add to that, he had a larger role offensively. And at the same time, his efficiency increased. That's a good sign. You know, you grew up with aspirations of someday getting into politics. Any current players who you could see maybe taking that same route. 
No doubt. There, there are several guys uh, in today's game. Uh, you know, Harrison Barnes has, has the polish, and I know he's had some thoughts that may be going in that direction. Teammates nicknamed Malcolm Brogdon the president for his stately <laughs> demeanor and commitment to affecting change. I, I absolutely see him trying to have an impact socially moving forward. There, there are several guys, again, who not only have the voice, but the courage to speak out about things that matter most to them. Many sharp guys in the NBA. Robert Covington checked in for Portland. So timeout called here, the first for Portland. We have to like what we're seeing so far from Kawhi Leonard. You know, he's been a one-man record group down low. His consistent scoring has dictated the pace of this game. We'll see if they decide to front him, bring a quick double, or maybe even both to try to slow him down. Down low. And Cantor pulls it down. Trailblazers trail by six, and it's Cousins with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And the Trailblazers making a change here. Nurkic has checked in. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Jackson, he's checked in for Rajon Rondo. Anthony finds Lillard to end the cold streak. And then Lillard slams it in. Don't let his height fool you. Lillard can rise up with the best of them. George passes to Jackson. To the middle. And then Cousins with the dunk. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Pass to Anthony. Fires the three. George against Powell. High pose, Nurkic. Five on the clock. Lillard misses. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. And that's an intentional foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. And the Clippers making a change here. Zubats has checked in. Trailblazers trail by six. He lobs up the alley-oop pass. And the officials call a traveling violation. Clippers ball. Clippers have gone just 33% from the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. Just three of nine. George passes to Zubats. Leonard against Lillard. Some solid defense from Lillard. Portland's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Hits the three-point bomb. Howell's got seven points. 16 seconds left now here in the second. Definitely got to use the clock here and get the last shot. But you know, this is where your patience is tested. If you shoot too quickly, you give your opponent a chance to close out the quarter. And here's George for three. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm a pretty close game for the Clippers throughout the first quarter. They never put themselves in too much danger. And that'll do it. And as we get to this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You have to like what we're seeing so far from Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. Checking out the group for Teron Lue to start the second half. He bits it. Folks, the coach's challenge has been initiated for a personal foul. Close game like this, and he thought it wasn't a good call. Portland shooting their first free throws tonight. The first trip to the stripe in this one. And when you look at their numbers from a season ago, 80% as a unit, that's something you'll be happy with. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, 
Personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology, Greg. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able now. A challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking and the game continues on. He's living there tonight. A tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Beverly deciding where to go with it. George passes to Zubats. Nurkic with the block. And oh, here we go. Lillard's got the fast break chance. That puts them in the lead. Lillard's got four points now in the quarter. And just putting his entire offensive imagination on full display. What a smooth release from Lillard. Poked away. McCollum with the ball. George picks him up. Pushing it up. Lillard dishes to McCollum. And oh, here we go with George. Nobody back. And it's Patterson finishing it off. Quick lick from Patterson makes finishing plays off with a dunk look easy. And there's the call on Patrick Beverly. That's his first foul. A different look now for Portland. Cantor is checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Jones comes in for Norman Powell. And it's Simons in for Lillard. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Marcus Morris is checked in for Patrick Patterson. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. It's McCollum with the drive. And he uses the glass on the way. McCollum's got his second bucket. Nice touch there from McCollum. Looking comfortable and confident from that range. Covington against George. Greg, you and I have talked about how the end. And yet we thought we might see it. And the coach's challenge has been triggered on the personal foul call. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology, Greg. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able now. A challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in end. So they have determined, Greg, to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. Flexing at the rack, Leonard doing what he can to fire up his teammates. And here's McCullum for three. And it's out of bounds to Portland. Oh, it's in possession. Anthony's checked in for Robert Covington. Here's Anthony. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And the rejection by Zubats. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. And George kicks to Morris. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Leonard attacking. And Cancer pulls it down. Portland's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's Leonard. That falls. Nice feed that time from George. George has got three assists in the game. And here's McCullough. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Stolen by Zubats. And pushing it up, here's the Clippers. Leonard's got the ball, and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. You have to give it up for Kawhi right now. He is wearing out the defense. Pass to McCollum from downtown. It's hauled in by the Clippers. You like that he's still attacking, but the results tonight just haven't been there. They're not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And guys, even though he's in a big market, Kawhi Leonard's still not one for the spotlight. 
<laughs> that is so true. It's not about the fame for him. He's in L.A., but Kawhi Leonard stays in his bubble. All the trappings that come with being a great player, he's truly focused on the love of the game, winning and being the best possible player he can be. That's the kind of take charge attitude they want C.J. to have. Attack the D at every opportunity. So for the Trailblazers, Norman Powell comes in for Derek Jones. And Lillard subbed in for Anferni Simon. And then for Los Angeles, DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for Zubats. Batum comes in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's Luke Kennard in for Paul George. Trailblazers trail by three. And McCollum the bucket on the assist by Cannon. McCollum's got six here in this quarter. And give McCollum credit. It's big for his confidence when he's able to muscle these shots in. Cousins inside is covered by Cantor. Tipped away. Powell with the steal. And oh, here we go. McCollum's got it. The fast break chance. Here's Cantor. And there's the pass to McCollum. Lillard way outside. But they get it back. Just couldn't take the lid off. They had their chances, but came up empty. And they're moving it up. Cousins, no good. I mean, that can happen to anyone, but it's ugly every time it does. Yes, getting a little ahead of himself on that play. And a wide open look for McCullum. Cantor, great positioning on the putback. And usually amongst the leaders in their offensive rebound rate, Cantor gives your team found points off misses. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Trailblazers out in front. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. The Clippers trail. We've got Robert Covington, Damian Lillard out there with Powell. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic, and it's Anthony in at the three. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. It's Powell on the wing. Kennard covering. Powell the pass to Lillard. Covington kicks to Powell. Lays it up off the glass. And the Trailblazers lead by one. They continue to battle out there. So close to taking the lead. The direction this game is headed is going to come down to a couple key buckets by either team. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, guys, over the break, I was able to listen to Teron lose huddle. We told him, hey, this game is there for you, but we got to go get it. 50-50 balls, get into the basket. We have to give it all right now. Kevin? Kennard against Powell. Lillard outside. Oh, Covington in position. Quick thinking, wins Dame assist. Finds the open man, and the ball instantly there for the finish. Jackson passes to Cousins. And then Cousins with the dunk. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Both teams putting forth their best efforts right now. This is the kind of game fans pay to see. And then Lillard slams it in. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. Yeah, well, who knows? We might need overturn in this one. It's been that kind of a game. Jackson laid in with a nice touch off the glass. That is a powerful point guard right there. Reggie converting against very tight defense. Lillard against Jackson. Passes it to Powell. Back to Lillard. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. A guy who spaces the floor, but also willing to attack the rim. Lillard has confounded the defense all night. Los Angeles calls timeout. One guy who's getting it done is Lillard. This guy is killing you. And so far, I haven't seen a good adjustment defensively.
Simon. He's checked in for the Trailblazers. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Zubat is checked in for Cousins. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Morris. Paul George, he's checked in for Nicholas Batum. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Reggie Jackson. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Zubat has got his first pass. And that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. And I love the play call. This is where you get the ball into the hands of your closers, where they can do something with it. George, no good. And so it's Covington who brings up the ball for Portland. It's a one-point game. And the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a little bit. Right. That's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. DeMarcus Cousins, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Count that bucket. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. 151 left to play here in the fourth. George and George with the stop. Paul George loves these situations. The bigger the moment, the more he wants to deliver. Lillard with it. The putback, and Covington stays with it. And the Trailblazers lead by one. Big time hoop from Covington. He's had to earn everything he's gotten in his NBA career. Right on the bucket. George has got four this quarter. Yeah, that, that's careless defense, though. I mean, he's one player you can ill afford to let run free. He just loves to be a money player in the fourth quarter. Here's Lillard. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. This is what he's known for. When it's an important possession, Lillard knows how to come through. Here's George. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. He hits the first one, and that ties the game up. It's a consummate team player. Paul George is an excellent leader, and he's cool to let others lead also. Ennis Canner's checked in for the Trailblazers. McCollum comes in for Inferni Simon. Fifty-eight seconds left in the fourth. Lillard attacking. Here's Cantor. Good! <laughs> big time basket at a big time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. George dishes to Beverly. And Cousins kicks to Leonard. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Back to Cousins. Pocket six. And out of bounds as the Trailblazers gain possession. A different look for the Clippers. Morris is checked in for Cousins. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Patrick Beverly. Guys, they're not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. Now's the time to burn some clock. 17 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Lillard outside. Good! Much strength from Lillard. Just not allowing the defense to have the last word. Looking to tie it up with a big triple. This is where you want to run a play. Don't just walk it up and heave it. No good there. And so the big win by Portland in a tight game. That was a fun night of basketball.
And it was quite a display as the Trailblazers arrived. Short a rotation play. Nothing that uh, they can't overcome. But it does shrink their margin for error just a bit. Short a rotation player, nothing they can't overcome. But it does shrink your margin for error just a bit. The starters for the Portland Trailblazers. Pairing up in the backcourt, Lillard and McCullough. Robert Covington out there with Norman Powell. And it's Nurkic in its center. And for the Bucks, Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Holiday, and it's Lopez in at the five spot. Now Covington, following Drew Holiday's three-point attempt. Nurkic dishes to McCollum, back to Nurkic, shoots over DiVincenzo, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Great job of crashing the offensive glass. He stayed with it. That's hard-nosed, tough basketball. Bounce pass on to Kumbo. Middleton up top, guarded by Powell. And you look at Robert Covington, first team all defense in 2018, the, the kind of versatile stopper that every team in the league could use. Lopez finds Giannis. Covington with the steal. It's McCollum with the drive. Count it. Unselfishness always admirable in a basketball player, and Covington consistent at giving it up when one of his teammates is open. And so Holiday will bring it up for Milwaukee. Four-point game. And Covington may be not a star, but he's a winning player. We've seen that. And the perfect example of that 3 and D role player can guard four or five positions and can definitely sling it from outside. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Cullen passes to Covington. He kicks it to Nurkic. Nobody near Lillard. And a miss there on the triple. Milwaukee's gone 0 of 2 from DP. Here's DiVincenzo. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Man, what a special player Antetokounmpo is sharing the sugar there. The vision he showed. Nice shot finding the open man. Now here's Lillard. Pass to Nurkic. Back to Lillard. Drops in the layup for two. Lillard's got his second basket. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Here's Giannis. Now, here's DiVincenzo. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. You know, he attracts a lot of attention, and Lopez making the most of it there to set his teammate up with an open look. Lillard outside. Floats it up there for Nurkic. Lopez with the steal. Here's Antetokounmpo, and Giannis throws it down. And Antetokounmpo is really an absolute terror in the open floor. I mean, love seeing a guy his size run the floor the way he does. Wow. Impressive. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. the flash by Antetokounmpo. I mean, just an insanely talented athlete who loves to punish that rim. Now here's Lillard. Here's McCollum. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Holiday against Lillard. DiVincenzo kicks to Holiday. Back to DiVincenzo. Six to shoot. The Bucs need to get a shot off here. And now running up the court, Lillard. Oh! Man. And no stopping Lillard. Excellent at staying in control no matter what the D throws at him. A platoon swap here for Milwaukee. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Cantor is checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Carmelo Anthony comes in for Robert Covington. Jones checked in for Norman Powell. And it's Simons in for C.J. McCollum. Now here's Teague. There's 42 seconds left in the first. Mora. Up three off the mark. 
Trailblazers leading by three. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. The Bucs have gone 50% from the field at this point. Four of eight. Pass to Forbes. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Here's Portis. That one a little long. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from the oh! Oh, oh. Yes, sir. That was incredible. Oh, man. Yeah, you know, Lillard has been so good at finding the open man. Puts a lot of zip on his passes, and he knows he's responsible for getting his teammates the ball. Teague drives in. No good that time. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. And so it's Portland bringing the quarter to a close with us. This is what Giannis Antetokounmpo recently told us when he was... For me personally, I just want... And for Giannis, Greg, the consistency from range has been a focal point. Yeah, the more accurate he is from outside, the wider the driving lanes become, making him nearly impossible to stop. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here, the scoring breakdown for Portland. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is their passing. I mean, doing a nice job. Plenty of their points early on coming off assists. On the floor for Portland, Jones is out there with Anthony. Then it's Ennis Cantor. Then it's Damian Lillard. And it's Simons in at the shooting guard. Here's Connaughton. And Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Here's Simons. He dishes it to Cantor. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And really inside the paint is where Cantor thrives. His dominant approach lets him just own that space. Holiday with the three. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will take it. Oh, he's jacked in for Lillard. Here's Simons. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Jones drives in. Anthony left side. Back to Jones. Just five on the clock. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Bucks trail by nine. Tucker dishes to Forbes. And here we go. Trailblazers with a fast break and the dunk by Powell. And unfortunately, we've seen a few too many of those. A lack of concentration, a turnover, and an easy bucket in transition. Here is Forbes. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. A nice shot by Teague. Tell you what, guys, you've just got to give Teague a lot of credit for his focus. Very poised under pressure. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Outside Anthony. Shoots over Tucker. It's rebounded by Portis. And... Being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. That one's in there, and the Portland lead is cut down now to just seven on the bucket from Forbes. You know, this is the next step in his development. Forbes understanding when to look to score from there. Here's Simons. 158 left in the first half. Basket good. And the Trailblazers lead by nine. Bucks have gone two of five from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Now here's Teague. He's covered closely. Here's Forbes. And it's Portland with the rebound. 
Cantor's got five rebounds tonight. Left side Jones. Cantor inside. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Cantor. A different look now for Portland. Yusuf Nurkic, he's checked in for Cantor. Robert Covington comes in for Derek Jones. And McCollum subbed in for Anthony Simons. Now DiVincenzo out to the right wing. The wide open look here for Lopez. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Nurkic the pass to Pop. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Trailblazers leading by nine. It's Anthony with the drive. McCollum outside. Feeds to Nurkic. Finished off by Nurkic. And get out of the way. Nurkic drives with tremendous physicality. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. Man, wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys. Still shaking. Well, I tell you what. He loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hander. And such a clever score. McCollum can unleash the floater, the pull-up. He's got it all. DiVincenzo finds Lopez. Middleton on the wing. Three-pointer. Trains it from beyond the arc. Middleton's got his first three points of the game. He does not lack for confidence. And he shouldn't. I mean, this guy's a dangerous score. And so it's Portland holding on to an eight. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back. After two quarters, it's Portland out in front. They have a solid eight-point lead. And that's a wrap. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. You have to like what we've seen so far from Damian Lillard. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Oh, what a jam! Are you kidding me? Fast. Boy, I love watching Lillard turn on the Jets using that astounding speed to blaze past the defenders. Holiday up top. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Reagan, New York, you obviously played in a number of championship contending teams. What do the Knicks have to do to get back to that field, that kind of team? Well, hey, listen, it starts with stability across the board, but mainly that means at the top. And you got to give this new front office, this new regime, an opportunity. I think they got some good young pieces. Uh, the title contenders are not in a constant state of flux right now. They've got to take their baby steps here and start moving in the right direction. Like you say, it does begin in the front off. And a wide open look for McCollum. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. McCollum's got nine. Well, I'd have to say Lillard is one of the game's best passers right now. Here's Giannis. And Giannis throws it down. I tell you what, it's absolutely foolish and futile to let Antetokounmpo get space to sprint towards the rim. I mean, the dunks he jams home are just downright filthy, ugly, nasty wicked. McCollum, no good. And the call will be against Yusuf Nurkic. That's his first foul. Milwaukee making a switch. Tucker's checked in. And then for the Trailblazers, Ennis Canner's checked in for Nurkic. And it's Derek Jones in for Pop. Holiday attacking. And Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got six rebounds now in the game. 
Yeah, but they're three or four to start the second half. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Excellent awareness of where to be on the offensive boards. He did it with great position. And the Kumbo inside. Defended by Covington. Well, I love how fast Antetokounmpo gets to the basket. One of the most mobile guys in the game. McCollum against DiVincenzo. And good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Guys, I'll tell you what, feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he sees and capitalizing. Giannis dishes the holiday. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Here's Tucker. That one drops for him. They are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Lillard left side, and then Lillard slams it in. Don't let his height fool you. Lillard can rise up with the best of them. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Bucks. They trail by nine points. 143 left in the third quarter. Even Genzo. And there's a nice one-handed slam. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. You know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. You know, Dane loves to test the defense like that, runs up against it, and then outworks it. The Trailblazers have gone three for three at the line tonight. A different look for Milwaukee. Bobby Portis has checked in for P.J. Tucker. Pat Connaughton comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Drew Holiday. The Trailblazers also changing it up. Anthony comes in for Robert Covington. And it's Simons in for C.J. McCollum. Giannis passes to Connaughton. Misses from close range. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And, guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamour stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. Lopez, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Powell, he's checked in for Portland. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Here's Forbes. That one doesn't go. So the Trailblazers will take it the other way. Lillard has the open look. Scores the bucket. He's 7 for 11 and continues to look good. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. And Forbes kicks to Connaughton. 36 seconds left here in the third quarter. And Ennis Kanter picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Drew Holiday first checked in for the Bucks, And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Nurkic is checked in, and the Bucks miss again. Trailblazers leading by 13. Here's Anthony. From down in the low post, it goes. Anthony's got six. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. And what's been impressive is that it's not been any one player been a collective effort contributions from everybody well that's a rebounding clinic right there he boxed out and then went up aggressively and strong for it here's Powell Cantor off the mark and so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for the Portland Trailblazers he got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total we'll get right back to the action when we return and a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, for him. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. On the court for the Trailblazers, they've got Powell. Ennis Cantor is out there with Nurkic. Then it's Anthony. And it's Simons in at the one. Simons surveying the D. Stolen by Middleton, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will take Giannis. He's checked in for the Bucks. 
Dante DiVincenzo comes in for Pat Connaughton. And then for the Trailblazers, C.J. McCollum, he's checked in for Ennis Cantor. And Lillard subbed in for Anferni Simon. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. Yeah, another turnover. But guys on the whole, I think they've done a great job of running their offense without too many miscues. Holiday with it. And the layup's good off the glass. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. If you can't stop it, here it comes. I'm right at you. Lillard, the pass to McCollum. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Lillard. Lillard's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Bucks trail by 13. Outside Holiday. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Trailblazers leading by 13. It's stolen by the Jacumbo, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will take it. And Portland making a change here. Covington's checked in. And for Portland, their shooting has been terrific. 54% on the game. Lillard, the pass to Nurkic. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Greg, as a point guard, you must have had so much fun being surrounded by so much terrific talent at UNLV. You know, Larry Johnson, Stacey Ogman, I mean, I could go on and on. And you're right, I was blessed to play alongside these guys. They were incredible talents, finishers. And, you know, you don't always appreciate it going through that moment. But the sure. fact that we're all still close and stay in contact. Uh, man, what an awesome experience to be a part of that team. Chemistry must have been off the charts on that team. It was, and, and we had a lot of personalities, man. It was a different era back then. Uh, but I tell you, again, I wouldn't trade that experience for anything. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Teague in for Drew Holiday. And Portland with a change here, too. Panthers checked in. Well, how about the concentration of Antetokounmpo? I mean, he expects to get hit when he's taking his strong to the rim and still is able to muscle his way through contact. And maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe somebody want to tell him he's up off the threes. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. It's certainly been an impressive run. They finally found the right formula to break down the defense. And it's McCollum off the drive. Count it good. And the Trailblazers lead by nine. CJ McCollum. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. That's tipped. Down low. And now Portland on the break. Lillard with the ball. And Portland again with the bucket. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stance for the Trailblazers? Defensively, they played with a lot of energy. And the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And Lillard kicks to McCullough. Pass to Cantor. Some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Here's Lillard. A rebound by the Bucks. Giannis has got eight rebounds in this game. And it's slammed in by T. Hey, there's no denying it, fellas. T is one of the quicker guys in the league. Blasting off in transition. McCollum dishes to Powell. Banked in off the glass. And a big play there to mute the crowd. And guys, the only noise we're hearing now is coming from the visitor's bench. 50 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Trying to get open is Lopez. Onto the Kumbo. No good. 
This game looks like they've got it just about wrapped up. Yeah, just got to work that clock and take care of the ball. And Andre Takumbo sends it in. And Giannis Andre Kumpo has some major hops. At almost seven feet tall, he makes it look effortless. Hey, yo, yo, right here, right here. The pass to Powell. Alert against T. Let's it go from the wing. No good off the back of the rim. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. But, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Man, the attitude of Antetokounmpo, really impressive. Really what you want to see in your team's best player. He's a guy that doesn't back down when the game gets tight and things are on the line. Oh, a nice tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot. Yeah, and those second chance points can add up. And if you're the defensive team, it just kills you to give up basketball.
Some uncertainty arises when both teams are missing players. Who is better able to weather the storm and take care of business? The starters for the Portland Trailblazers. Pairing up in the backcourt, Lillard and McCollum. Nurkic is out there with Robert Covington, and it's Powell in at the three side. And for Brooklyn, we've got Irving. Joe Harris is out there with Durant. Then it's Harden, and it's Jordan in at the five, patrolling the paint. Outside Irving. Puts it up from 12, and the shot goes in. Some of the best in the game go at it here tonight. Chris, what an incredible guard matchup we have here in this one. Oh, Kevin, there are some all-time greats playing at the guard spots these days. Will be a fun matchup to watch. And Damian Lillard with the jam. Lillard is phenomenal at penetrating to the bucket. His speed, athleticism, difficult to slow down. And the three ball is good. Lillard's got seven points. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive load. Great D that time from Nurkic. The Trailblazers have gotten their first three shots to go. With oh! oh! Uh, it's easy to forget about Lillard's hops. I mean, this guy has some sick dunks up his sleeve. Harden the pass to Jordan. Back to Harden. Can they get it? And Harden with the stop. Oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. Lillard against Harden. Lillard attacking. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Some players might wear down during this kind of run. He's only getting strong. The Trailblazers shooting their first foul shot of the night. They throw good. Damian Lillard. Hard to believe Lillard missed out on a couple of All-Star selections. I mean, the season's where he averaged over 25 points a game. Jordan finds KD. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by, Jordan can't get it to go. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Kept alive. How? Oh. Takes it out to Covington. A three-pointer is right on target. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Outside Irving. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. <laughs> you have to love it. There's no quit in this kid, Irving. When he gets hit, he sticks with his shot. Some changes for Brooklyn. Green, he's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. And it's Bruce Brown in for James Harden. The Trailblazers also changing it up. Cantor, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. And Anthony's subbed in for Robert Covington. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Irving dishes to Durant. Irving kicks to KD. Passes it to Green. Out to Harris. Shot clock at five. Misses the three. Well, they get away with it here, but that's not a shot you should ever be given. And the dunk by Powell. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Going for the juggler right off the bat. I mean, jumping out to an impressive early lead. Irving passes to Green. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Well, well here's the thing. Irving draws so much attention to the defense. I mean, he, there's always a guy left wide open. Lillard attacking, and it's good for two. Lillard's got 16 points. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Brown finds Irving. Back to Brown. Inside. The kick out to Irving. And the officials call him for three. a three-second violation. Griffin's checked in for Durant. Derek Jones, he's checked in for Portland. And Fernie Simons comes in for McCollum. Trailblazers leading by 12. Lillard up top, covered by Irving. And Damian Lillard with the jam. 
excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. They've come out of the gate strong at both ends of the floor, just, just in total control so far. Irving against Cantor. A nice shot by Irving. He has seven. Love how strong Irving finishes. Awesome at fighting through the defense and sinking these shots. The shot by Lillard, wide open. He hits it from three-point range. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Irving looking over the floor. Shoots over Lillard. Here's Griffin. That shot off. Excellent D from Cancer. Lobs it up for Anthony. And no good that time. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Oh, I'm always surprised when it doesn't happen. I'm sure these two will have a good laugh about it later. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. That's going to send Damian Lillard to the free throw line. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. The Trailblazers have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. And so it's the Portland Trailblazers with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead, 16 points. They've kept the tempo. And recently, Kevin Durant discussed what they have to face. I think we get a lot of teams best shot in the first and Greg, it's one of the great challenges of being one of the teams to beat. But that's the difference with a superstar like Durant. He can give you elite play from start to finish. Lesser guys can do that only in spurts. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And guys, the Trailblazers enjoying a nice lead here. Well, in that first quarter, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Old school approach. I mean, if you have a favorable matchup inside, just keep pounding it in there. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. On the court right now for the Trailblazers, they've got Jones. Robert Covington out there with Ennis Kenton. Then it's Damian Lillard, and it's Simons in at the two. I love whenever Griffin finishes with power. I mean, he's showing he's not to be messed with close to the basket. And the foul on Harden. That's his first foul. Jordan, he's checked in for the Nets. The Trailblazers also changing it up. Yusuf Norkic, he's checked in for Ennis Kenton. And Norman Powell subbed in for Lillard. Jordan with the rebound. Nets trail by 12. To the inside. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. And watch out, you don't bring the whole basket down on top of you, young fella. I don't think he ever wanted to let go of the rim. Here's Simon. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Greg is a point guard. What is it you like to see from that position on the floor? I think first and foremost, leadership. It's so valuable at that spot and you know you, you you always gotta have your head high because your teammates are feeding off what you put forth in terms of your body language and enthusiasm so you know the typical stuff about organizing the offense and, and setting the tone on the defensive end that stuff's important as well but so much of how you carry yourself out on the floor when you deal with adversity and you know that you're going to it, it is really paramount Covington with it, and it's Harden picking him up. And there's a whistle that's going to go on James Harden. That's foul number two for him. C.J. McCollum, he's checked in for Anferni Simon. And a wide open look for McCollum. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. And so it's Katie with it. He brings up the ball for Brooklyn. They've only given up one point in the second quarter. That one coming at the line. Here's Powell, shoots over Brown, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. The Trailblazers have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Harden dishes to Brown. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. 
Albert Covington picks one up. Love how Harden attacks the basket when he's close by. Just relentless in finding ways to get himself to the line. The Nets making a switch here. Irving's checked in. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Anthony's checked in. Well, and last season, we saw teams double and contract James Harden more than any other player in the league. As soon as he crossed half court, they did not want the ball in his hands. Pretty early to be over the limit. That foul situation is something we want to keep an eye on. And all the trapping had to frustrate Harden. But whatever may come, he's going to make the right play. Yeah, and, and he can, G.A., because he's not just a good passer. He's a great passer. He averaged over double digits assists the year they played him at point guard. He makes you pay for second help. Jeff Green, he's checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Wow, the toughness and, and the edge Nurkic provides, uh, it's awesome. A physical big man. He makes an impact on both ends of the floor. So it looks like the Nets will retain possession here. Still Nets ball. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Short and DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Well, when you draw this much attention from the deep, you know someone's bound to be left open. It's hard finds it. Here's McCollum. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Powell kicks to Nurkic and finished off by Nurkic. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. The coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy baskets like this. Irving passes to Durant. Shoots over Powell. And he overshot that one, missing. Oh, their movement is good, and they get the ball into the right hand. Now, usually, he drops those in between jumpers. Well, Melo made his way back into the lead last season. He was immediately a heavy minutes player for the Blazers. Looked good as a third scoring option for the team. Griffin's checked in for the Nets. Cantor is checked in for the Trailblazers. Lillard comes in for Norman Powell. Irving finds Durant. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. And the jam by Kevin Durant. Um, Durant dunks the ball. It's such an effortless lift. He just goes up and throws it down like it's nothing. And with Melo not having to bear so much of the scoring load, I, I think was good for him. Yeah, especially since he took about a year off from playing. Melo had to take a long look in the mirror about how he can help teams win during his absence. But he clearly has something left to offer. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. The Nets making a switch here. Harris has checked in. Oh, he's never rattled at the strike. Always has that nice soft touch on his free throws. Durant kicks to Green. Back to Durant. Stolen by McCollum. And here we go. Trailblazers with a fast break. Oh, oh but did you see that? Well, look at how quickly Lillard leaps out in transition. He wants to run down the throw to the deep, burn him in the open floor. Irving against Lillard. Irving dishes to Griffin. And another turnover here by Brooklyn. Yeah, and I think he was surprised to see that pass coming his way and just really reacted too late. Jones checked in for the Trailblazers. And Fernie Simons comes in for C.J. McCollum. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Three-pointer Lillard knocks down the three ball. Lillard's got 31. And with the game he's having, there's no doubt he'll be the guy they lean on to protect the lead. Lillard against Irving to end the run. Lost contact on the shot, and now it, and it looks like, yep, it's a coach's challenge on the personal foul. That triggers a replay review by the official. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology, Greg. We've seen replay reviews so effectively, and involving the coaches by being able now. A challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined, Greg, to overrule the original call. And guys, it and so it's Portland taking a 19-point lead into the break from the 2K Sports Halftime Show. 
Hey, welcome back to the NBA. Leading the way at the start, it was Damian Lillard. He ended up with 31 points. And he does. <laughs> and that'll do. Show up. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Really an incredible game from Lillard. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. Harden out there with Kyrie Irving. Then it's Joe Harris. Then it's Jordan. And it's KD in at the four-man position. So that's the Nets' five. Now we're seeing the very best of Lillard tonight. I mean, he's a Swiss Army knife of an offensive player. I mean, he's got a tool for every job. Here's Irving to count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, it's the attack mindset. I mean, that helped him prevail right there. Sometimes you just got to go with your gut. Lillard from outside. They get the rebound. And good luck trying to keep Nurkic off the glass. I mean, using his brute strength well on the offensive boards. Nets trail by 20. Harden surveying the D. From the arc. And it's Portland with the rebound. Nurkic has got five rebounds tonight. In the corner, Powell with it. McCollum outside. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. From deep three-point range, the rebound by KD. And it's Harden with the ball for the Nets. It's Irving, top of the key. Feeds it to Jordan. Kicks it out to Harden. Irving for three. Up again, and there's Jordan putting it right back in. Jordan's got his second bucket of the game to go. One thing never changes in the NBA. Jordan will always be there among the top offensive rebounders in the league. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Kyrie Irving. Lillard from deep three-point land. Brooklyn with the rebound. Jordan's got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside Durant. It's deflected. Kicks to Harden. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Claxton. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Powell, no one around him. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Nets trail by 18. The three from Harden. Jordan, the pass to Claxton. And it's good assisting on the play with Jordan. Jordan's got his third assist on the night. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Lillard left side. And it's blocked by Jordan. And really, that's the brilliance of Jordan. Just denying those shots there with tremendous power. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots out there. So for the Nets, Griffin's checked in for Durant. Green comes in for Nicholas Claxton. And it's Bruce Brown in for Harris. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Cantor, he checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Anthony comes in for Robert Covington. Derek Jones, he's checked in for Norman Powell. And it's Simons in for Damian Lillard. Harden draws the double. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And the Nets with possession here. Green with the ball. Cans are covered. Four on the clock. And Anthony sends it back. Pass to Simons. Portland no good that time either. Nets trail by 16. And there's the feed to Jordan. 
Burnett shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And he knocks down the first one. Man, this spot has always been Jordan's biggest drawback. Uh, he's never been able to make his free throws at, at even a modest rate, and teams are never afraid to put him on the line. And the foul on Harden. And that'll be his third foul so far. We've got 113 left in the third. Trying to end the drought. Jordan with the block. Down down low. He's guarded by McCollum. And here's Harden. And he banks in the lane. Harden's got his third basket of the night right there. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. It's McCollum with the drive. A rebound by the net. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. You're not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. So timeout call here, the first for Portland. And starting to send guys to the line way more than they need to. Let's get some good position defense going here. That should be the emphasis and get away from the sloppy fouls. And the Nets making a change here. Irving's checked in. The first free throw is good. And so Jordan nails both of them. 44 seconds left to play here in the third. Here's McCollum, and he uses the glass on the layup. McCollum's got his first basket of the night. Got to respect the speed of McCollum. Fantastic at knifing through the defense and beating them to the bucket. Harden right side. Harden's got 10 points in the game. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Here's Simons. The rebound by Harden. Brooklyn with the ball. They're on a 14-4 run right now. Irving dishes to Griffin. And the slam by Blake Griffin. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. No, it would be a shame to make all this progress and let them off the hook. Got to keep the pressure on. And that one is good. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, yeah. Horrible effort. It appears they may be on the brink. Of and so it's Portland. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Makes it a tough play to defend because you also have to guard against him taking it himself. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. On the floor for Portland. They've got Anthony. He's out there with Jones. Powell is out there with Ennis Kansas. And it's Simons in at the point guard position. Just rubbing it in their faces with that dunk. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. What a performer this guy is. He relishes the chance to hammer me down. Harden outside. Outside Irving. Down to five on the shot clock. Had the space there, but it's offline. Portland leading by 11. Here's Powell. And that one drops. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Oh, yeah, and that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with a comfortable lead. Irving for three. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Simons, the pass to Pop. Tips it up, and Cantor able to finish. Cantor's got his first points of the game. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. On the wing, Irving. For three. A 
Again, Irving missing. His field goal percentage has dipped this quarter. I mean, his movement has to be better. He has to find the open spots on the floor. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for the night. Harden with it. Excellent D from Cantor. And the foul called on Blake Griffin. That is his first foul of the game. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for the Nets. Portland also making some changes. Robert Covington comes in for Jones. And Damian Lillard subbed in for Anferni Simon. Powell kicks to Lillard. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. A lot of damage from three-point range in the first half, but so far in the second, he hasn't done a thing. If his performance this quarter is any indication, I don't think he's the one who's going to let them out of the hole. Yeah, and they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Harden against Lillard, and there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Costly error there. We'll see how they rebound from that miscue. Man, when you're playing from behind, that's the last thing you want to do. Make matters worse. Kevin Durant's checked in for the Nets. Portland also making some changes. Yusuf Nurkic comes in for Ennis Kent. And it's C.J. McCollum in for Carmelo Anthony. Out in the open court. Irving's just too quick, too shifty to contain. Lillard outside. And the foul on Harden. That's his fourth foul of the contest. The Nets making a switch here. Jordan's checked in. Lillard from outside. Rebounded by the Nets. Jordan's got six rebounds here tonight. Irving from long range. Rebounded by Covington. The more threes he misses, I mean, the more he wants to take. Where they do that at? <laughs> That's not the right mindset. Willard with the bucket. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here nice for the Trailblazers. Their superior ball handling won it for them. And, and fewer turnovers equals greater scoring opportunities. Any coach will tell you that. If you take care of the ball every possession, and this is the perfect example of what happens when you do. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Damian Lillard. He was the one dictating the pace tonight, playing up temple or slowing it down, but always scoring. And the basket by Harden. Uh, the unique lefty stroke of Harden. He's become incredibly consistent from deep. Lillard looking around. And right away, they match it with a three pointer of their own. Three. Lillard's got 39. Now here's Durant. Shoots the three. Rebound by Nurkic. Oh, when the defense forgets about him on the perimeter, they're playing with fire. Lucky they don't get burned here. And the basket by McCollum. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. They're just a total team effort. And out of bounds is Brooklyn gains possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Johnson outside. Makes it off the glass. Now that's where you like your shots to come from. 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Simons the pass to Giles. Count the basket. And the Trailblazers lead by 19. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Showing remarkable poise and focus throughout the game. A sustained effort across the board. And so...
2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And in the locker room, each guy has been going over and through...
Both teams tonight dealing with some injuries. Here's a look at who's out for the evening. And some uncertainty arises when both teams are missing players. Who is better able to weather the storm and take care of business? The starters for the Portland Trailblazers. The high-powered backcourt pair, Lillard and McCollum. Robert Covington out there with Nurkic, and it's Powell in at the three. And for the Clippers, Paul George is out there with Jackson. Then it's Marcus Morris. Then it's Ivica Zubac. And it's Leonard in at the three spot. And how about this stat? Over the course of Robert Covington's career, over 60% of his shots coming from long range. And Greg, the prototypical 3 and D guy, you almost want to reverse it because defense has been the pivot point for Robert Covington's emergence as a player in this league. And here's Leonard following the three-pointer by C.J. McCollum. And it's Leonard with a sensational play. Kawhi Leonard's length lets him play bigger than his size. Lillard surveying the D. We play just over a minute here in the first. Pass to Powell. Shot clock at six. From deep. It's hauled in by Zubats. Outside Leonard. It's George on the wing. Morris. The putback is no good. Trailblazers have gone two or three here to start out the game. A pull up. Stolen by Jackson. And here comes Leonard, leading the fast break. Tries again. Zubac kicks to Jackson. Nice shot from the wing. He uses the threat of his drive to open up looks for him offensively. Jackson is one smart cookie. Lillard outside. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Los Angeles has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. The three from George. The Clippers keep it alive. Morris passes to George. Kicks it out to Leonard. And finished off by Leonard. This is a small forward who, because he's 230 pounds, can hold his own down in the low post. That is nicely done. Lillard outside. The Trailblazers with a new shot clock. The Trey. It's held in by Zubac. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. I think he's got to settle down, because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter, he has been completely bothered. I'm sure you've got a list, Greg, of players you've visited with over the years who you really enjoy spending some time with and talking to. I mean, there are so many, Kevin. Uh, a couple guys, and there is a little bias as a point guard, but Damian Lillard and Steph Curry and Chris Paul are three guys that, you know, I enjoy sitting down and talking shop with. Uh, Giannis, you know, witnessing his journey to the oh, oh, oh. Almost unstoppable on the drive. Lillard's talent for ball handling, letting him just cut through the defense. George passes to Zubac, and the dunk by Zubac. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. Pass to McCollum, and out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. DeMarcus Cousins, he's checked in for Zubac. Batum comes in for Morris. Luke Kennard, he's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. Ajan Rondo subbed in for Jackson. The Trailblazers also changing it up. Ennis Canners checked in for Nurkic. Anthony comes in for Robert Covington. And it's Simons in for Damian Lillard. Boy, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. McCollum, no good. Clippers have gone just a shade under 50% from the field. Five of 11. Kennard for three. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Near the three-point line, it's McCollum. Portland again, missing. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Rondo passes to Cousins. Nifty move. 
and the layup is good. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. And Simons has got the ball here for the Portland Trailblazers, trailing by two. About three seconds between shot and game clock. The Clippers have gone 6 of 13 from the field, just under the 50% mark. The shot by George, wide open. From outside, off the mark. Now Powell jacks up a three. Here's Cantor. This is the all-around impact of Marcus Cousins. Points, rebounds, there he gets the stop. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Clippers lead by two. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Clippers. Guys? Guys, I love their defense in that first period. They were in position and just challenging shots. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got, we've got DeMarcus Cousins, Patrick Beverly out there with Kennard, then there's Batum, and it's Mann in at the small forward position. Beverly with the ball. Now Anthony defending, fires for three. Offensive rebound. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Los Angeles shooting their first free throw of the evening. Well, I think what we see sometimes with DeMarcus Cousins, your greatest strength can be your greatest weakness. When he uses his emotion to be aggressive and intimidating, you love it. He just has to stay under control. Back to Canner, and stolen by Cousins. And Gennard wide open. He shoots. There's three-pointers off the mark. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. You know, you love your star players making others better. And Mello with the vision there. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Beverly up top. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Passes to Cousins. Just five to shoot. He made that one. Basket number three for him. He's also missed two. Yeah, Patrick Beverly making it easy for his teammate to score. A three from McCollum. That one doesn't drop. So the Clippers will take it the other way. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back for the Clippers. Zubac is checked in for Cousins. Morris comes in for Nicholas Batum. And Kawhi Leonard subbed in for Kennard. Portland also making some changes. Norkic checked in for Ennis Cantor. Robert Covington comes in for McCollum. And Damian Lillard subbed in for Anferni Simons. And for a point guard, Lillard has some hops. Outstanding at knowing when to use them for the dunk. Beverly, the pass to Zubats. Takes a three. And the rebound by Norkic. For Portland, they've gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. Lillard outside. Back to Covington. He feeds it to Lillard. From outside the arc. Here's Anthony. A putback. Nurkic. Great positioning on the putback. And this is where Nurkic gets a lot of his points. Staying active even after the shot goes up. Here's Beverly. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Leonard. Zubac trying to break loose. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. It's Covington on the wing. Kicks it out to Jones. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The Trailblazers have shot just one free throw early. One for one in the game. And the Clippers making a change here. George is checked in. And a switch here also for Portland. 
Now he's Jack in for Carmelo Anthony. George, no good. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. And Paul George Doris, kind of a late bloomer coming up in high school. His older sister used to give him the business on the blacktop. Uh, of course, eventually, he found his stride, and the rest is history. It took some encouraging from older sis and his high school coach, who actually had to threaten him with running suicides to get the guy to shoot more. And think about it. This guy plays his college basketball at mid-major Fresno State. That's really where he got onto the NBA radar. This one for three. Rebound by the Trailblazers. He's so frustrated. He hasn't had a make-all game. It's making it very difficult for them to find any success. The Trailblazers shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. The three from George. Makes it out to Leonard. The offensive rebound. Here's the three. Traps in the tray. Leonard's got five points now in the quarter. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Lillard with it. He's got nine. Outside, Jones. Fades. And it's Lillard missing. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out front. George, no good. And still, he's scoreless. Boy, they could use just a little bit of help from him. Back to Powell. The dish to Nurkic. Covington in the corner. Floats it up there for Nurkic. Well, you love to see Norman Powell be unselfish and find an open teammate. That's pretty. George, that's a two-pointer, steps back and drains the jump shot. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets... All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back. The first quarter for the Trailblazers was fairly even. The largest lead they had was six in the opening. <laughs> and that'll... And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Kawhi Leonard really has his fingerprints all over this one. He had a fast pass to the lane that first half. Got inside on demand. Now this guy is such a good finisher on the move. And so far, the defense has not been able to counter it. Here's who Jerry Stotts is starting the second half with. Pairing up in the backcourt, Lillard and McCollum. Robert Covington out there with Powell. And it's Nurkic in at the five, roaming the paint. Leonard inside, guarded by Powell. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. John John Rondo's checked in for the Clippers. Portland leading by five. Lillard outside. The three. With the putback. There's Nurkic putting it right back in. Norkic has got eight points. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. George dishes to Leonard. Shoots over Powell. And Leonard gets it to go. 13 points in the game. How about the focus and locked in nature of Kawhi Leonard? My goodness. Lillard against Rump. And Lillard kicks to Norkic. Fires the three, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Lillard. Norkic has got seven now in this quarter. Well, for a big man, his stroke is just beautiful, and because of the height, it's so hard to challenge. Leonard, no luck. Just enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Lillard misses. And guys, this has got to be more of a team effort. Right now, he's playing all for himself. Kicks it out to Leonard. Covington with the steal. And here's the break. 
Call one pass. It's a pop. Stolen by Zubac. And here we go with Morris running it up the court. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. One of the key aspects for Kawhi Leonard scoring per game is his ability to get to the free throw line. This guy lives there. And Kawhi Leonard with a very analytical approach to us to the game. Studies angles, movement, trying to groove in on perfect mechanics. I mean, he does it all. Yeah, Kev, that goes back to his favorite high school subject, which was math. And think about how precisely he has built his game. He started at the free throw line, then went to the low post, and now has added the range game. Very analytic approach. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Nobody near Nurkic. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Clippers trail by six. Here's Leonard. Shakes him. No good. Good work defensively by Anthony. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Here's Nurkic. The Trailblazers rebound. Cancer kicks to McCullough. And the call will be against Yusuf Nurkic. That's his first foul. A platoon swap here for the Clippers. And the Trailblazers making a change change here as well. Jones has checked in. Out to the right wing. Back to Beverly. And easy two points on the way. Well, this guy is a fighter. Patrick Beverly will not back down from contact. It's McCollum on the wing. There's the three. Here's Cantor. And Cantor throws it down. That's what he gives you. A big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave, no doubt. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. McCollum deciding where to go with it. From deep three-point range. Six to shoot. High arcing shot. Cousins pulls it in. Cousins has got five rebounds tonight, and Ennis Kanner picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Now the pass to Kennard. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. He's looking for Cousins and finds him. Pass to Beverly. Here's Mann. Offline with his three. Trailblazers leading by four. And here's McCollum for three. Again, McCollum missing. 29 seconds left in the third. Over to the wing. Beverly, the pass to Cousins. And Cousins turns it down. This is what keeps Cousins' percentages up. The gimmies, my goodness. Pass to McCollum. Tanner, high post. That shot, no good. Great tee that time from Batum. Kennard for three. Sinks the triple. And the Clippers lead by one. Guys, close one here. No team getting a huge advantage. Yeah, tooth and nail fight so far, guys. These sides match up really well. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. The Clippers on top as they end the third quarter with a 13 to 5 run. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Batum is out there with Ivica Zubac. Then there's Jackson. Then it's Luke Kunar. 
And it's Rondo in at the point. That's who's out there for the Clippers. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly <laughs> logical. How about pointless <laughs> to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for Batum. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Luke Kennard. And it's Paul George in for Jackson. And so George will bring it up for Los Angeles. It's a one-point game. Goes to the reverse layup and cuts it in. Boy, not only can Paul George get off the dribble drive, but you see the strength to absorb the contact and finish. Nice. Lillard attacking. And stolen by Cousins. Long pass to George. Up high to stop the alley-oop. Well, that's about timing and precision and knowing for Paul George how to use that leaping ability to get that alley-oop. And it's Rajon Rondo with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Reggie Jackson's checked in for Rajon Rondo. Portland also making some changes. Norkic checked in for Ennis Cantor. And McCollum subbed in for Carmelo Anthony. Powell dishes to Nurkic, stolen by George, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Damian Lillard. That is his first foul of the game. Clippers leading by three. Jackson kicks to George. Passes it to Zubats. Here's George. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Robert Covington picks one up. We call that masterful use of the pump fake. Paul George effective getting guys to jump on it. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. McCollum outside. To the paint. Back to Norkic. Shoots over Zubac. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Just a load. I mean, at seven feet, Norkic also moves well, and that combo gets him to the line a bunch. And both free throws good for Norkic. And the Clippers have possession. Three-point lead. Now here's Jackson. Outside Leonard. A three from George. It's good from long range. George has got nine points in the quarter. And after a first half in which their offense shot under 40%, they've got the lead, and they should count themselves to be lucky. Here's Willard. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. That's on Reggie Jackson. Proof positive that Lillard is worthy. That's talent you can build a franchise around. You get the sense this guy relishes getting to the free throw line in these tough moments. You talk about clutch, this guy is it. And then Lillard sends it in. We know this about Robert Covington. He is a team man first and foremost. Pretty pass. For Los Angeles, they've gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. George against McCullough. Here's Leonard. The shot's good on the assist by George. And the Clippers lead by three. Well, Kawhi Leonard has been in so many big-time situations. How confident is he right there? Lillard, the pass to McCollum. And it's all evened up. How about the fearlessness of McCollum? Doesn't shy away from taking or making the big shots. And George kicks to Leonard. And now they decide to foul intentional. And the Clippers making a change here. Morris has checked in. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. And here's George for three. They get it back. My goodness, guys, you talk about embracing the moment, burying a key shot. Go ahead, Mr. Morris. We see you doing work. In the corner, Powell with it. And the dunk by Powell. Norman Powell on the big-time delivery. 
The Clippers have gone five of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. 103 left in the fourth. Leonard attacking. That one goes. Count it. Leonard's got 19 points. Absolutely no fear. Kawhi Leonard welcomes these moments. He relishes these moments. It falls. He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. Here's Morris. Come. And that's a clutch bucket by Morris, showing the team they can count on him down the stretch. Here is Lillard. Take the lead. Nurkic. It's good. A huge shot to tie it up. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. About three seconds between shot and game clock. In the corner, it's Morris. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's Leonard. Yes! And they do have a foul to give. Here's Lillard. The pass to Nurkic. From deep. Bullseye! This is what he's known for. When it's an important possession, Lillard knows how to come through. And the Clippers call time here. They're trailing by one. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now, a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Damian Lillard. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. And it's in there. But Kawhi Leonard starting to percolate, guys. You may want to start checking this guy. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps.